Now to mounting trash problems across Metro Detroit. Tonight, the city of Dearborn telling us that priority waste is still behind schedule with its pickups. So much so the city crews are trying to help citizens out where they can. We've been following the pain of trash pickup problems for weeks now, talking to struggling customers and the company itself. And tonight we are following complaints from downtown Rochester, where a small business owner reached out to 7 News Detroit for help after failed attempts for relief from priority waste. 7 News Detroit reporter Kimberly Craig went to see what they're up against. We're in downtown Rochester behind the Penn Station East Coast subs and take a look at this, this huge pile of garbage just sitting here. It's been here for 10 days and they say it all comes down to priority waste. This is crazy. Isn't it ridiculous? This is not something Bernie Marconi's son and daughter-in-law who own Penn Station East Coast subs ever thought they'd be dealing with. All the garbage is in the cans, which you can't see from here. Oh, but there's there cans, cans back, back there. Yeah, there's cans back here. <laughs> But the cans are full. For weeks, we've been telling you about the trash troubles with Priority Waste after they took over GFL contracts that Priority Waste say came with a lot of broken down vehicles affecting garbage pickup. The Marconis have a commercial account and say they haven't been able to get anyone from Priority Waste to even respond to this growing pile of garbage. You'll be put on hold for a good hour before someone even picks up the phone, which is totally ridiculous. Then you talk to somebody, they say they're going to call you back, and they never call you back. Other times they're saying, we'll be sure to get it today, come by and pick it up. Nope, guess what? This is what you get right here. I called Priority Waste and sent them this photo. A spokesperson for the company isn't sure why the two pickups a week have been missed. And this is a restaurant. You guys need this picked up. Well, you have to. If you don't get these picked up, you're going to start having rodents and everything else come here. Has the city said anything to you guys yet? The fire marshal came by today. And, you know, he understood our situation, yeah. and he's trying to help us. He's a really good guy here in downtown Rochester. Right. Marconi says garbage from the other businesses is picked up by city crews, but they've always had their own commercial contract. Did you ever have problems like this with GFL? Never. It's been 22 years that we've been in business here. The spokesperson for Priority Way says they'll be sending a crew over to haul all of this garbage away by the end of the day. And they say about 90% of the communities they service are getting same day service, but it could still take up to 90 days to get everything rolling consistently everywhere. What would you say to Priority Waste if they're watching right now? I would tell them you took on way too much business because they can't handle it. Yeah, maybe down the road when they get organized or whatever, but right now, they have no clue what's going on out in the field. In downtown Rochester, Kimberly Craig, 7 News Detroit. Gotta get it together. A major problem. Thank you, Kim.